Hi everyone, welcome to mock interview series powered by PM School. So today we have Anvika, who is the senior PM at Cult. Welcome, Anvika. Uh, thank you for inviting me, Akriti. Great. So the idea today is that we will solve a case study which will help our listeners understand what type of case studies are asked in product management interviews, how do you solve them, and what are the main questions you could ask just to understand the flow. So that's the idea of today's interview. So let's get started. Sure. Cool. Uh, so the question is, Google Pay has had a 10% decrease in their payments. Why do you think that could have happened? Got it. Great. So um, decrease in payments is that people are not able to, 10% um, less or people are making payments using Google Pay. Um, so just a quick question first. Um, uh, is this drop like a sudden drop or have you been observing this for uh, a couple of uh, days or weeks? How is this decrease? Yeah, so we've been seeing this decrease over a couple of months and it's a gradual decrease. I'm also just thinking about the problem uh, and making notes. Absolutely. Got it. Um, sure. So the way I want to uh, work with this problem is I'll identify uh, the factors that can call uh, that can cause this decrease. Um, I would essentially look at, you know, some external factors and then we can move on to internal factors. And then, uh, you know, as I ask you some questions, we'll be able to find probably what could be causing this issue. Right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah couple of minutes to consolidate my thoughts and uh, get back to you. Sure. Take your time. Okay. So um, just uh, understanding uh, and further, uh, you know, scoping down the problem, is this decrease um, for a, happening for a specific demography? Uh, maybe let's say younger folks or uh, yeah, like any particular cities. Yeah, that's a good point. So we are seeing the decrease across all personas, cities. Like we haven't identified any specific, you know, geography or persona. Got it. Yeah. So no specific demography. Yeah. Got it. That makes sense. And uh, um, so, and any particular like devices that we are seeing this in, because, you know, it in iPhones and uh, Android, any specific drop over there? Uh, nothing special, though in India, like Android users are more as compared to iOS, but uh, there's yeah. nothing special in terms of device type. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So no specific device. Yeah. Great. Now that I've like scoped it out, I think it's this problem is happening um, over... Um, you know, um, no specific demography and no particular iOS or Android devices. Now, uh, let's look at what could be other uh, factors that could cause this, right? Um, so the first question like I have is, uh, is there any like a bad PR or maybe, you know, some campaign that, did, that did, the audience did not receive well? Uh, did something like this happen recently? No, we haven't done any campaign. Like it's BAU stuff that's has been happening. Okay, so it's business as usual. Yeah. Okay. Um. So um. Any um. Uh, anything related to like seasonality? I need to know how sometimes when there's like a festive season, uh, people do shop a lot more, which means they probably are um. Yeah. And now yeah. Our winters, probably there's like not a lot of sale and things like that. So do you think there's some effect of seasonality? Um, maybe we can look at numbers like in the previous year, was there a drop like that the last year? Yeah, so we did look at that data. That's a very good point. And we couldn't find any seasonality per se. Like even if that happens, like we haven't seen any decrease in the last year. So it's, you know, something that has happened recently. Okay, got it. So no seasonality. Uh, great. Um, 
I think um, I haven't seen any new player pop up for UPI, right? Mm-hmm. There's just three massive players. I know PhonePay did some sort of campaign, but um, uh, again, you know, we probably covered something yeah. related to. But do you think there could be any competitor uh, angle here that let's say you know there's something coming up? Any other data or insight that you may have as a business? Yeah, so uh, you are right. Like PhonePay did do a campaign, so we did see like a tiny drop in number of customers coming to the app. But uh, you know, obviously, it's a tiny drop as compared to the ten percent decrease in payments we are seeing. So yeah, that's about it. Got it. And this, and I assume that this has been happening before the campaign even launched because I think it's pretty recent. Exactly. Exactly. Got it. Okay. Um, now I think I've covered most of the external factors. Um, right. I would take a little uh, bit of time to think about. Uh, let's say, uh, you know, I would love to go through the user journey, um, and understand. Um, is there maybe um, you know, some bug or something, and figure out any other factors that could have caused this? So just give me like one second. Absolutely. Um, uh, got it. Um, and one thing I forgot to uh, talk, but uh, this this is also a part of internal factors. So I could just ask here. Um, sure. I that the data is uh, calculated correctly like we've not tagged the events differently this time and we've not changed anything there yeah absolutely everything has been same in terms of calculation so no changes got it got it okay great uh i'll just uh, coming to uh you know um, how do a you how does a user journey look like when you know they are trying to use make uh, use of Google Pay, right? So uh, first, either you know um, I go to a store and I scan the QR code, um, or not the store. Let's say I'm taking an auto and I scan the QR code. That's one way to um, sort of make the payment, right? Yeah. Other way that I can think of is uh, when I use something like Zepto, um, what it does is it opens the Google Pay app directly and the page requesting payment. So yes. I don't have think it just opens, tells me the amount and I the only step left is to add the UPI pin. And the third thing that I can remember is, um, and this happens specifically when I try to use Apple Pay services. Yeah. So uh, it's it's I don't know why is it not streamlined yet, but um, you know I'm on the um, store. I say I want to pay through UPI payment, and uh, then it just uh, does that wheel, the waiting wheel, yeah. and then I have to go open um, Google Pay. And a couple of times I've seen um, that um, you know um, there is sometimes a pop up. Otherwise, uh, um, either there's a small dot on the Apple Pay yeah. services or the merchant who I have to pay for. So this is like the three types in which a user can uh, make payments, right? So yeah. uh, looking at these as three segments, I, I've written down like them as three modes. And then what I want to do is I want to dive into each of these segments and see where could be the potential issue. Sure, sure. Do you also want to pick uh, another use case because these are only merchant related use cases? Oh, yes, I forgot. Um, I wanted to first uh, bifurcate whether, you know, it's a merchant related or a peer to peer related uh, payment mm-hmm. method as well. Um, that was one of the points, but uh, I forgot. Uh, so, yeah, sometimes I also transfer money to another individual, um, yes. right? Um, and the other bifurcation is also paying through a bank account. Like I transfer my rent using the bank account of my owner. So let's take a step back and go over there first. Yeah. So um, do you think there's a drop in peer-to-peer um, uh, sort of payments or um, from Google Pay to a bank account sort of payment? Or is there a drop 
between uh, merchants and the user type of payment. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. Uh, we have seen the drop happening in the merchant use case. And for others like, you know, bank transfer or peer-to-peer -peer payments, they are pretty much the same. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, got it. So from this data that told me that, uh, you know, while making peer-to-peer, -peer, I make either through scanning QR codes or... Uh, um, phone number. So I'm assuming uh, since that has not dropped in, uh, you know, the previous cases, I believe that the drop due to uh, scanning a QR code is, is pretty stable even when uh, trying to pay merchants via QR. Is my assumption fair? Yes, sir. it's absolutely correct because this happens for both, uh, you know, those cases. So fair enough. Yeah. Great. Okay. So now there are two things left. First is, you know, uh, the merchant redirecting me to Google Pay, uh, right? And opening the app and filled, um, which is a pretty seamless experience. And I feel like um, usually um, I haven't ever myself experienced any uh, payment failures. Like there could be some UPI error issue that could happen. Yeah. Um, like when I'm the pin and maybe Google servers are down, uh, so the payment is not through, but um, since we are at a step which is a little before that, I haven't faced any issues when the merchant directly opens sort of the payment page. Um, but uh, just to narrow it down, do you think there is a drop on that page just to, you know, like for sure eliminate that case? No, uh, that page is like pretty much same conversion rate. So all good there. Okay. Um, yeah. And I assume that because I feel like it's a very seamless experience as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think the last part where I think there could be a potential issue or, you know, else we'll have to move further down the funnel Yeah. Um, is, and I face this a lot of times myself, where I'm not getting the pop-up sometimes um, or the merchant is not in the recent merchants, right? So what happens is I'm unable to find uh, that merchant. And even if you find that merchant, sometimes if you go to the detail page, uh, you don't get that pay wala, uh, what is that called? Like the widget that asks you for the requested payment. So yes. that doesn't happen. So uh, just to summarize, uh, there are two, three things here again as well. First would be getting a pop-up. Ideally, you should always get that pop-up, right? So that you can directly go into that page. Or at least I should be able to find that merchant in my recent merchants. Um, and also say that, also see the pay widget. Now, uh, any, have we made any changes to this flow particularly? Yes. Uh, so basically, we recently did a release and earlier there were no widgets. People used to get SMS. But now we have completely removed the SMS and people are supposed to receive widgets in the app. So that's something we introduced recently. Okay. So by widget, you have the pop-up. The moment I exactly. open Google, that pop-up should appear, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay. So I think I'd first want to understand, uh, let's say if this feature was rolled out to everybody, I assume it was rolled out as a global, like as a, a complete rollout. Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, have we seen, like when we rolled out, um, have we seen like a drop in usage of this feature? Maybe people are not getting uh, the pop-up because of which they are not able to make the payment or um, maybe like, seeing people come to the Google Pay app multiple times to, in order to figure out if, if they see the pop-up, is there any such behavior? Of yes. Notice? Okay. So that's exactly what we've seen. Like uh, we had an event for uh, how many people are able to click on the pop-up and that okay. number is not a healthy number as soon as we did a release. So yeah, that's the issue as we would think. Okay. Okay. Got it. So, um, essentially our system 
firing the pop-up, right? And we are expecting a user click, but eventually that click is not. Exactly. And the probable cause could be people are just not seeing the pop-up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is a pretty big um, uh, drop. Yeah. I think this uh, problem sort of can cause a drop like this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think we should first try to solve this problem. Um, and if we've solved this problem and the drop still persists, then we we'll have to look at other parts of the funnel. Let's say servers are down, etc. But for now, it looks like this is the pop-up is the issue. Exactly. I think like this is completely spot on because uh, we had recently done a release and it wasn't happening before. And with this release, we are seeing drop off. So perfect. Okay. Uh, great. Yeah, like let me know if you want me to sort of um, usually sometimes we can solution how to solve for this. But in the interest of time or yeah. whatever so um, I think this is where, where we would pause and in the ideal world, we'd yeah. go ahead and solve. Exactly. I yeah. think well, we are good for now because the idea of this case study was that you identify the issue, why this is happening. And uh, we've you've done a great job at that. So all good. And yeah, thank you so much for taking out time for this, Anvika. This was super helpful and I'm sure like listeners will get a lot of value out of this. Thank you uh, so much for giving me the opportunity, Akriti. This was uh, a great uh, discussion and I hope users and viewers also find a good value. Thank you. Thanks, Anvika. If you liked our video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. And you can also subscribe to the BM School channel for more updates. Thank you. Bye-bye.